Imagine losing 50-50 on Aika's banner twice, once on her first release, and once again on her rerun, which lasted 240 days. It was actually 6 weeks. So now you're sad because no waifus and cryo DPS-less. Well this character is free and does floor 12 9 star clearable damage, so why not build him and stop procrastinating you lazy little So basically I have no idea what I'm doing with my life anymore and uh, I don't have enough time to make another episode of Only Claymores, it's coming back next week so please don't click off the video, this video is worth the watch maybe, hopefully, build Kaya if you don't have Ayaka or Ganyu, it's very worth it. So first we have Masanori because, uh, punching bag. So we are running 4 piece blizzard, so we have kind of low crit rate, so I'm just gonna use Mona to freeze this person in place. And there we go, 10k. There we go, yeah, 10k per E. If we do our full, uh, thing, this does 19k. And each Q tick does that much. Yeah, I have no clue what just happened, I kind of just spammed E's and Q's and he died. It was kind of slow to be honest, but it gets better. Now we have the sleeping frog rock thing. It was innocent, but we will kill him nonetheless. I just remember he can't be frozen, so my crit rate is going to be like zero. This is fine though. When I do crit, I'm still hitting 19k, which is pretty good. But I don't crit very often, so this is actually kind of sad. I dodged the, uh, the, the thing with my jumping skills. Kazuo is simply too broken. I am not critting at all, this is a scam. And now we will do the highly realistic and uh, definitely applicable in every situation, PMA, nuke. Okay, so I think we will eat some crit rate food if we have any, because I don't want to do all of that again. Okay, so we do an E, we'd swirl, Ben and Q, uh, Kazuha, swirl that, Mona burst, uh, and then boom. That was kind of low, but shh, it's fine. It's it's the it's 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 a quick swap team, so the damage adds up. Trust. So that damage was kind of underwhelming and bad. I hear you say. Well, how about I beat Abyss with Kaya? But oh no, surely Kazuha and Mona will carry me through Abyss. Fine then, I will only use four stars for the first team. So Sucrose, Kaya, Xingqiu, and Rosario. In second half, let's just use Ningguang. Elemental skill bonus. The numbers they add up, all of these are dying. Am I getting carries by Xingqiu? Probably, but everyone has Xingqiu anyway, so you can't complain about it. 17k damage per E. That's pretty good, right? You can't say it's bad. I mean, yes, a good Ayaka can hit 10k per charge attack, so in to total 30k, but Kaya is free, and Ayaka is not. Invest in Ningguang today. Oh, these are Cryo. Um, no problem, I will show you the, uh, the power of um, Cryo. You can fight Cryo with Cryo. Wow, that's so cool. How am I going to get past this? This is fine, right? Okay, maybe this, this, this abyss isn't that good for Kaya or just Cryo characters in general. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. This whole abyss is not good for Cryo or Electro characters because these infuse into Electro and Cryo, and these two are Electro and Cryo. Also, these two are enemies, which can be frozen, which is fine, but Chamber 2 and Chamber 3, you can't freeze them, so it's bad. Also, all of these are just ice, and you can't fight ice with ice unless you're a Giga Chad and you're playing physical Kaya or something, or, or Chi Chi. But trust me, uh, Kaya was worth building, and if you don't have a Cryo DPS, Kaya is worth it. Okay, so build time. We have 1.5 thousand attack, 33 to 200 nearly crit ratio, 140 energy recharge, and 61 Cryo damage bonus. We're running the uh, Blacklift Longsword, Artifact, 4-piece Blizzard, 
And all I have to do to convert Freeze Kaya to a Melt Kaya is switch this headpiece to this crit rate one, and boom, two Blizzard, two Noblesse, crit ratio, pretty good. Constellation, C2, talents, 488. Eight. As for Mona, uh, I'm running her on pure ER and healing build with a level 6 Thrilling Tales. We're using Emblem of Seventh Fate. Constellation zero, talents one one eight. Rosario also nearly one point five thousand attack, fifty four to one hundred crit rate, one seventy three energy recharge, and sixty one pro damage. The catch, normally she's on Halberd, but I plan to run her on a Vonus Lance when I get to upgrade this artifact. She is on two piece, no two piece noblesse, two piece blizzard trail. Constellation Zero, which is kind of sad, and 188 talents. So yeah, that was another video, I have no clue what this video was. Once again, only Claymores is coming back next week, hopefully. If you didn't realise, this video was inspired by Heise, Heise, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Conclusion, if you don't have a cryo DPS, like I've already said, I think twice, Kyra is fine, just not for this abyss, because free teams at least, they're not very suited for uh, this abyss. Anyway, that is the end of this video, I have no clue what this, uh, past 26 minutes has been but yeah uh like sub just like comment for the algorithm thanks for watching and uh okay goodbye